Cortez, Internet of Things and Electronic Solutions. We support you to develop your knowledge and make you familiar with the latest technology and gadgets. Hello there. Today we are going to see how to program STM32F103 C8 T6 ARM microcontroller board with the well-known Arduino IDE. Goal of this video is to give you a very basic introduction to ST microcontrollers and make you familiar with the STM programming through Arduino IDE. As you already know, STM32 F103 C8 T6 is a microcontroller board developed by ST microcontrollers. And nowadays, ST microcontrollers are getting much more popular among DIY gadget developers due to speed calculations and the peripheral characteristics of the microcontrollers. So, today I am going to select a basic microcontroller made by ST microcontrollers to start my video tutorial lesson series to STM32. STM32 F103 C8 T6 microcontroller with the development board, which is also known as STM Bluefield is handy and most abundant STM microcontroller board you can find easily in eBay or any other online store. This microcontroller is running at 72 MHz clock speed, so it can execute 72 million instructions per second. And this is very fast in comparison with Arduino Uno, which is running at 16 MHz clock speed. Since this is 32-bit microcontroller, you can access 32-bit long register at once compared to Arduino Uno. If you want to access 32-bit variable in Arduino Uno, you need to access 4 8-bit registers in sequential manner to store 32-bit data. This will take much more executions and processing time. Since this microcontroller board is compatible with Arduino, one can easily upload programs compiled using Arduino IDE to this board using the serial port. So just like normal serial communication, you can connect USB to serial converter with this microcontroller board to upload program. Here I am using CH340 USB to serial converter to upload programs. All the links where I bought the hardware components can find under the video description below. The price for both items was around $5. Since we are using Arduino IDE as the base for running the code, we need to download Arduino compatible STM library board package first. Go to Arduino website and download the Arduino IDE zip file for non admin installer. Now extract the Arduino IDE pack and place it in any destination in the hard drive. Plug USB serial adapter and open the Arduino IDE to check whether the hardware is correctly detected by the Windows Hardware Manager. If not, you can direct into the driver folder in the Arduino IDE extract to find the drivers to the hardware. If you are using CH340 USB to serial converter, you won't be able to find the drivers in the driver folder. In that case, you can go to the link in the description below to find the drivers for the hardware. Next step is to download all the required board manager files and libraries to the Arduino IDE. To do this, go to Arduino IDE, Tools, Board and click Boards Manager. Find 32-bit ARM Cortex-M3 and click install. If you cannot find the board in the board manager, copy the link in the description below for Arduino STM32 board and go to Arduino IDE, file, preference and paste the link in the additional board manager URL and click OK. Now recheck the board manager to find the required board manager files and click install. When the software is completely installed, close the Arduino IDE and go to Arduino STM32 page on GitHub. Link to this page can be found in the description section. This is an Arduino IDE add-on solution for STM32 microcontroller created and maintained by Roger Clark. 
Click the download zip file and unzip into the Arduino STM32 master directory and test the complete directory in the hardware directory of the Arduino IDE. Basically that's all. Arduino IDE is now ready to program the STM32 microcontroller. Next thing which we need to do is to connect the USB to serial converter to the STM32 microcontroller board. Now this is very important. Keep in mind that STM32 is 3.3 volt tolerant microcontroller. Despite the fact that some pins are 5 volt tolerance, connecting other GPIO pins directly into the 5 volt signal line will definitely destroy the board. To find 5 volt tolerance GPIO pins, you can refer the data sheet. So make sure that the connection to the USB serial converter are correct as you can see in the diagram here. And this board, of course, you can see a small 3.3 volt voltage regulator connected to supply the power to the chip. But that is only enough to power the microcontroller. Draining much more power from the GPIO pins will burn the regulator IC. Okay, now let's see the programmer connections to the microcontroller board. Connect ground to ground, 5V to 5V. Rx from the serial converter to pin A9 on the STM32 board and finally connect the TX from the serial converter to pin A10. Then connect the programmer to the computer using USB cable. At this point, LED on the board should start to flash indicating the power has received to the board. And now you are ready to upload the first program to the board. Open the Arduino IDE, go to Tools, Boards and select the STM32 F103C series. Go to Variant and select 64K flash version. Go to CPU speed and select 72 MHz. Go to Upload method and select Serial. And finally, select the COM port of your program. Now go to Files examples and scroll down for the STM32 examples, digital, find the blink sketch and open it. The built-in LED on this board is connected to pin C13. So you need to change the PB1 to PC13 to get the LED blink on this board. After changing this value, program is ready to compile and upload. But before uploading the program, you need to do one more thing. Before each and every upload, you need to switch the first jumper in the microcontroller board as you can see here to the right and press the reset button. This way, the microcontroller will enter to the programming mode. Now click upload in the Arduino IDE and the program should be uploaded. After that, the program is executed automatically so LED should start to flash. Since you are now in the programming mode according to the jumper settings, to upload the program again, you only need to press the reset button. After uploading the program, the microcontroller will automatically start to execute the program. But this is not the official way to do that. If you want to execute the program, you need to switch the top jumper back into its original position zero again. Now if you press reset button, the microcontroller will restart the program without going into programming mode. And that's it. We just uploaded our first program to STM32 microcontroller. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. We will be uploading much more videos about STM32 microcontroller programming later. If you find this video important to you, please like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos like this.